I've got something to celebrate tonight, too. My husband and I just celebrated 10 wonderful years of marriage. Yeah. Not bad, since we, considering we've been married for 16. <laughs> Ratio's still in our favor. That's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we've started having some issues, and I know a lot of married people have issues, but we finally decided it was time to go see a marriage therapist. And, well, I say, I decided, and then he started seeing the light once I mentioned the D word, dismemberment, you know, <laughs> so. So we started seeing a marriage therapist and um, I was skeptical at first, but I do have to say, it's been amazing. I am seeing some transformations in our marriage that I would not have believed. Just like the other day, I um, threw away the rat poison, kind of, yeah. Baby steps. Right? Take those things, baby steps. So, uh, and I learned a lot in counseling too. Like, um, I learned that it's not just communication that you have to worry about in a relationship. They always say, oh, the most important thing is communication. It's not just any kind of communication though. It's gotta be effective communication. Because apparently it's not very effective when you even just gently remind your husband that he's an the therapist said that just puts him on the defensive and shuts down communication or something like that. I don't know, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> so, so she said we should use these ownership or I statements when we're expressing our feelings to each other. Thank you, people of therapy. Yes, the ownership <laughs> statements. So, you know, I gave it a shot. So, 